in Mansfield and Ashland tonight, vandalism closes down an entire school system. You can have a dime that is worth a lot of money. We'll tell you about that. Jack is home to talk about Muirfield, and Jim Ganahl has a frost warning. WCMH Television, Channel 4, Columbus, Ohio. News Watch 4 Columbus is next. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Adair. President Reagan is on his way back to Washington at this hour from Ashland, where he came tonight to honor the memory of conservative Republican Congressman John Ashford. John uh, Greiner was in Ashland for the president's visit. He has just returned within the past 10 minutes with his report. Doug, the president spoke for about a half an hour after tonight's dinner, and he told the mostly conservative, mostly Republican audience that he is going to do what they all believe in already. Thank you. Just uh, getting in to hear the president uh, talk was not a very easy thing to do. You had to make it through secret uh, service clearance, and you had to pay $200 a couple, and 1000 if you went to the private cocktail party. And our Al Allison Ash says that that money added up to about $250,000, all to be used to remember John Ashbrook and his politics. John Ashbrook, guardian of free enterprise, bastion of Christian values, and conservative to the core. Those are from Ashland College. We saw two other young people today whose only thoughts were for their mother, a mother who was also a deputy sheriff. They were the daughters of Lieutenant Sharon Moore, who was very today, and they said that their mother had lost her will to live now that the Moores were officially on duty at the time, even though they had not arrived for work, and that ruling could provide several hundred thousand dollars for their estates. The uh, Soviet Union, is worried about the future of some of their dependents tonight and so is pulling them out of Lebanon. And we'll be back with more on that in just a moment. You're watching News Watch for Columbus. Anchoring the news, Doug Adair. Sports reported by the Dean of Central Ohio Sportscasters, Jimmy Crump. And today's exclusive weather forecast, prepared by meteorologist Jim Ganahl. We'll have more News Watch for Columbus coming up. 350 years ago, the Roman Catholic Church condemned Galileo for saying that the earth revolved around the sun. Well, today, Pope John Paul II is saying that the church is older and why if you don't have a dime like that, but just think of it this way, if you had one, you'd probably be so excited that you couldn't go to sleep tonight. We'll see you tomorrow night at 6. News Watch for Columbus is copyrighted by Outlet Broadcasting. Mona Scott joins Doug Adair on Newswatch for Columbus early this summer. Thank you for watching. You'll have a fun afternoon with Three's Company tomorrow at 5 on Channel 4.